a grandma package. And it's specially wrapped in a brown paper grocery bag, which she, I guarantee you, reused and did not go out and purchase anything special. <gasps> I just went and got packages. And funny story, I know this handwriting and I know it well. Guess what? From grandma. Oh my goodness. I cannot wait to see what is in this. And my mind goes a million places, like really a lot. Like what could she have sent me? I'm walking over to our Texas flag. I'm gonna sit down and have a moment here. Oh, first thought, Easter cookies. Second thought, uh, recipe. But it says perishable, so maybe it's plants. Maybe it's something special from her garden. I don't know, but I do know that I am excited. Do y'all know what this is? Because I know what this is. Oh my goodness. Lester's not gonna have any idea what this is. Like none whatsoever. That is not red celery, friends. Oh, this is so special, <laughs> I'm gonna cry. This is, <laughs> this is rhubarb from my grandma's garden. And I am the only grandkid who likes rhubarb pie. <laughs> oh, hold on. Sometimes that little bit of home makes you feel really loved and special. For her to sit here and think about me as she's out in her garden picking rhubarb. And then to go through the trouble of wrapping it all up, cutting it, using that <laughs> grocery bag from the store. This is a really big deal. <laughs> This is a grandma, both my grandma's garden, but this grandma has made me a rhubarb pie every single year of my life and taught me how to make rhubarb pie because we're the only two that eat it. <laughs> it's an acquired taste, I promise you, but now I have, I have to make rhubarb pie. This is, a this is awesome, so awesome. Guess what? We're learning how to make a rhubarb pie together. I'm gonna show you how. I'm going to show you grandma's rhubarb pie recipe. And I'm gonna make Lester try it, even though I know good and well that he is very unlikely to like rhubarb pie. Here we go. So since rhubarb is kind of like celery, see how it's stocky? And I know that it's had a long journey to get here. I'm actually going to put it into some cold water and kind of let it rejuvenate itself before we start cooking with it. Next up is making this rhubarb pie. Now I have cleaned off, soaked dish, the rhubarb in water overnight. Uh, and now I'm going to slice it all up. I like to do mine pretty thin. I don't like it to be in big chunks. I know I'm a weirdo like that. So I'm gonna get it all sliced up and get that part prepped. Here we go. Okay, so yes, I am a cheater. I am not good at making pie crust and quite frankly the best part about this is that it's super easy to buy it so i'm going to spray my pie pan and put in one pie crust and i do things a little bit weird i pre-bake it for about eight minutes because i want my crust to be nice and crispy okay so my crust is barely golden brown and i pull it out it is not completely baked yet it takes three eggs, three cups of rhubarb, and one cup of sugar. You whip up the eggs, put a cup of sugar in, and then actually dump the eggs into the pie crust and then your rhubarb. And seriously, you bake it for 30 to 35 minutes at 350 and it will be delicious. So here we go.
best. I'm telling y'all, you're gonna love it. Friends, this is a rhubarb custard pie and it looks delicious, I can't wait. So this is not a pie that you actually eat hot. In fact, I like to let it cool and I like it better cold. Yep, I'm a weirdo and that's how I'm gonna make Lester try it too. Try it and I can't wait for Lester to try it. Doesn't it look delicious to you? It looks like pepperonis on a pizza. <laughs> and I'm going to be honest, I do not look forward to this. I do not want to do this. But I, I'm not, I know I'm full of jokes, but today there's no jokes. I've watched those things sitting here. <laughs> I thought it was celery sticks at first. It's so good though, I promise you. I do. Like, I, I know that you don't believe me, but I want you to like smell it at least okay and just bring it to your lips maybe maybe <laughs> i'm gonna get you a fork yum there's no one watching this video who's saying yum <laughs> people Every, who have eaten it no no one eat no one eats that i don't know people if people eat that i think this is part of your prank wars seriously i think this is part of your prank i would wars. never Sit prank down. you with food Never, ever, ever would I prank you with food. I'm going to take a bite. That was crust. Yeah. <laughs> I'll eat happen. the pie crust. Here's what I want you to do. I want you to just stick the fork in. Like Jamie, right please. here. No, no, no. Now lick the fork. That's it. That's all you got to do. Just that it. right just there. Just that. Just try that part first. Smell it. I, I'm not going to smell it. <laughs> you don't know how... Nervous right now. Do you remember the show called Fear Factor? Yes. There were always three categories. One stunt that was like death defying. I forgot what the second one was, but the third one was always eating something that you just that could not think you physically eat. And I'm saying, I swear on the Bible, I love you very much. I love your grandmother who taught you the recipe. But this is one of those things that if they had on Fear Factor, I would give up. I would give away a million dollars if I had it. Because I cannot put that into my mouth. Seriously? Not even that little bit? You know there's no rhubarb on that. What I just, what I, that's the filling. Listen, I'm, I don't mean this in a mean way because I don't want to hurt people's feelings who make this for their family. But this just, it doesn't look right to me. And sometimes I can look at a food and just tell it's not going to settle with me. And if it's so bad, my mind plays such tricks on me that now if I start feeling sick later <laughs> no. and I want to throw up. I'm going to picture that right there. That's terrible. I'm sorry, Grandma, but that's just the way it is with me. All I'm right. real well, with them. Yeah, so Lester only eats vanilla things. We'll just say that. And I, I don't mean that in like a generic way. I really mean like vanilla shakes, vanilla pudding, vanilla oh. ice cream, no additives. I'm so, so sorry. I feel bad that I let you down because I've seen you working so hard on that. That's just, that's I can't okay. do it. It's okay. I'm going to eat it. I promise you. It is the whole oh gosh. I can't even scoop it up. It's delicious. So you're telling me you swear on the Bible that you actually like the taste of that. I love this. And those do not taste crunchy like some kind of a... No. No, they're they're like... So this part specifically is like custard. You know what oh, custard I, is? I, I see the custard and I know the pie crust. If it was only custard and pie crust... Here, look. No, 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 no. Stop, Jamie. No. You're going to make me turn around and walk out that door. Okay. <laughs> I promise you, the whole thing is delicious. Oh, oh, good. So that's your favorite kind of pie. Mm -hmm. And it's called what? Rhubarb. 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 <laughs> it's not rhubarb. Rhubarb. Rhubarb pie. Mm -hmm. All right. For all of you pie people out there. But uh, Lester's not one of them. Please do not send any as gifts because <laughs> uh, Jamie I or the uh, or our out. little pigs will, <laughs> will end up <laughs> You won't even try it. <laughs> Sorry, baby. I love you, but I'm not, mm -hmm. not trying it.